Okay, you guys. What is up? The King of Lightning is going to do the rise and fall of Natsu Dragon Ale. That's right, finally. Finally, the rise and fall of Natsu Dragon Ale is here. It is here for you to enjoy, for you to debate, for you to just say your opinions, for the haters to be like, yeah, for the lovers to be like, no, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, now, before that, you know what? Let me stop eating, all right? The apple's good, though. Really good. Um, yeah, I know. Random, right? Um, <laughs> okay. So, before I get into the topic at hand, look somewhere in the video, and they will take you to the rise and fall of Korosan Ichigo, the rise and fall of not of uh, Naruto Uzumaki, and the rise and fall and rise again of Monkey D. Luffy, all right? Um, after this rise and fall is going to be the rise and fall and rise again of Sasuke Uchiha, all right? Um, that being said, all right, that being said, this, this rise and fall series, if you don't know, now you know, the rise and fall series pertain to, spe to uh, specific characters within a story and how they fit within the context of that story. Whether or not they have drastically changed, whether or not they never fucking changed, whether or not... Basically, it's their standing in the story, okay? And what I see and how I perceive it, okay? This is me. This is not the way it is. It's not fact. Some of the stuff I am mentioning is fact, okay? All, most of my opinions are going to be based around facts. But uh, just so you know, this is my, this is my take. So, I mean, for, the, for those of you guys who will get buttered, and I, I know for a fact, that there will be people who are, who are going to get butthurt when I say the stuff I'm going to say, then yeah, you know, just remember, this is all me. Now, um, that being said, all right, there's going to be five key points, five key things I want to mention with Natsu, why he is a rise and fall, all right? Now, let me just hop right in with point number one. Point number one, Natsu at the beginning of the series fairy tale, okay? He is a relatively strong character. Why? Because he is one of the most famed members of a famed guild. He is the Salamander, okay? He is a relatively strong individual with, I believe, the one of the, one of the top two guilds at the time of Fiora. It was Fairy Tail and, I believe, Phantom Lord. And then Fairy Tail beat the Phantom Lord during the Phantom Lord invasion. And then Fairy Tail becomes, they become like the number one guild. In Fiora, I believe so, okay? Uh, number one, yeah, yeah, uh, Fiora. Because Magnolia is the city where Fairy Tail lies. Now, throughout the course of the series, Natsu has fought individuals that are much, much stronger than he is, all right? He's fought against Zero, who was better than he was. He fought against uh, Master Hades, who was better than he was. And he and, and, and all these, uh, most of the opponents that he fights that are way, that are way better than he is, he beats them through power-ups, which is the first problem of Natsu Dragon Eel. The power-ups. The power-ups are a huge problem. Why? And let me explain something. I do understand that there are people who prefer the power-up method as opposed to the training method. Why? Because to them, training, oh my god, it's too long, it's pointless, it's boring. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's your opinion. And this is my opinion, okay? And in my opinion, the power-up method is very bad. Why? Because this hinders his character development. As a character, and this is the main point of my entire video. This is the main point of my entire video. And I'll tell it to you right now. Natsu as a character is completely stunted. He is completely Stunted, and this is one of the reasons why the main one of the reasons why he's a stunted character is because of the power up system. He doesn't grow through the power ups. He does not. The when it, when an individual train, okay, when they learn from their mistakes, what happens? They develop new skills. They have this drive. They have this passion. At the same time, they realize that they can't. They real. They realize that the method that they're following doesn't work against a particular individual. 
So they grow and they develop as they're training. But with Natsu, it's a power-up. And he's gotten four power-ups. Four. Two of which are permanent. He's gotten the golden fire from Jalal. He, he ate the Ethereum before that. Then the two permanent ones are the Thunder Dragon. Uh, but yeah, like the Thunder Magic that he got from uh, Luxus. And the uh, the growth of his second magical container from Utier. Like, they all got that. Well, like, yeah, like, um, Natsu's group got that type of magic. But, uh, basically, it hinders his development as a character. Completely. He never learns from his mistakes. He never learns from his mistakes. He still runs in there gung-ho. He still goes all out, fire dragon, fire, 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 whatever. And now that he has the whole entire container growth... And the Lightning Dragon, no. No. The reason why it, it's a no is because when we take a look at Natsu now, and compared to the Natsu then, guess what? When, aside from strength, it's the same Natsu. It's the same motherfucker we left in episode one. In chapter one, it's the same dude. The same dude. That's a problem. That's a problem. And the power-ups is not the only reason as to why. Point number two is going to be his failed. And when I say failed, I mean failed. I mean like completely like F-A-I-L fail. His failed relationship with Lisana. This is so stupid. Because Hero... He put so much effort into building up Lisana, the character, and her bond or her relationship with Natsu during the whole entire Edelas arc. Before that, too, you know, like Lisana really meant something special to Natsu. Or at least that's what he implied. But she comes back as a character, which I will not get into now, because that was no. But at the same time, she comes back. And she is re-immersed into the guild. When we see this, what happens here is that nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. Nothing. Natsu treats Lisana as if she was a regular member of the guild. As if she has no real importance to him. As if like, Lisana is equal to Max. Like, no. That makes no fucking sense to me. That makes no sense to me. Whatsoever. This could have been a good opportunity to progress, uh, to progress Natsu's development as a character. Notice how Erza is one of the best developed characters in the story. Why? Because one of the major reasons is because she has a relationship or a bond with Jalal. And this bond frictions, it breaks, it comes together, it does all this stuff, and then it, it helps these two develop as characters. Jalal is very well developed, as is Erza. But Natsu, who have the same opportunity with uh, Lisana, none of that. None of that. Like, you would think that Hero would do something where he would promote the bond of Lisana and Natsu more than Lucy and Natsu. And then Lucy and Lisana would, like, have like, this kind of friction with each other. And then Natsu would have like, this kind of conflict between the two. But no, none of that happens. None of that happens. Natsu's like, yeah, fairy tale. Madushi, and it's like, oh, it's like, dude, like, come on. You've been doing that shit since day one. Since day one. No. So that right there is a huge problem, right? In my opinion, fail point number two. Number three? Ho. Oh, number three is simply this. Out of all the seven main characters, and when I say seven, I'm including Wendy and Charla. Because Wendy and Charla have kind of assimilated into that group. Gaju, not so much. Not so much. However, when it comes to the seven main characters, Natsu, Grey, Erza, Lucy, Wendy, Happy, and Charla, Natsu is the least developed out of all of them. Out of all of them, he is the least development. Grey, he got pushed heavy at the beginning. Lucy's development, uh, Lucy's development is... Actually, pretty good. Uh, when it comes to the time skip, yes. 
with her father dying, her mother, and the whole entire Celestial Spirits bomb. That's good development. Airs of, the, Airs of Development is the best. The best, by far. By leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Um, then there's Wendy's, who actually gets a solid amount of development when it comes to the whole entire... Uh, what is it called? The whole entire arc with a Zero and the uh, Arashian Six. That stuff, yeah, pretty good development. Not the greatest, but pretty good development. Um, at the same time, we have Charla and Happy, who get the push of their lives, especially Happy. Happy gets developed hardcore in the Edelos arc, as does Charla. Those two, oh, whoa, whoa, but not two. Nah, 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 Com again, completely stunted. He's, he's so fucking stunted, it's not even funny. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's it's sad because he has had he has had multiple opportunities, multiple opportunities, especially with the training or not the training, but especially with that fight between him and Gildarts. That was a huge opportunity in order to push Natsu's development, but Hero did nothing with that. I mean, donut. The only reason why he learned to, you know, accept his fear is so he could beat the God Slayer guy. Which, in turn, means nothing for the overall story. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? If, if Natsu, at that given point in time, when he was fighting the God Slayer, if he had said, you know what, what we are going to run away. Why? Because he is way better than me. I can't beat him with, with my current strength. And the lives of my guild members are more important than the lives... No, are more important than the structure of Terojima Island. Had he had done that, had he had done that, he would have spiked. He would have been like, whoa. He would, his development would have been sky high. But no. No. None of that. None of that. Again, the opportunity with Lisana. Shiro does nothing with that. Lisana is equivalent to like Max. Like I'm not getting it. I'm not. I'm not getting it. Lisana and Natsu they should have a very strong bond, a very strong bond. But we don't see this bond progress at all throughout the entire series so far. It's been 270 plus chapters, and Natsu's growth. As a character, his development is completely stunted. It's it's really sad to see. Um. Oh man. Oh yeah. And this is gonna be the fourth and last key point, which implies something that I always wondered. I always wondered. I'm like, why? Like, what the fuck? But at the same time, let me give you the fourth key point, the fourth fall of Natsu. Okay. And we all know this. Unawana Sasuke knows this. Ramiku Joten knows this. We all fucking know this. At the beginning of the series, Fairy Tale, Natsu had a goal. Oh shit, you forgot, right? Yeah, so did I. Natsu had a goal. And that goal was to find his father, Igneel. The dragon, the fire dragon, Igneel. Throughout the course of Fairy Tale, has Natsu made any significant attempts to go search for his father? The answer? No! No! He has done nothing with this. Nothing. The only time he actually does something remotely relevant to Igneel is when... Um, another dragon slayer comes in, and he's like, have you seen Igneel? And that's it. That's all he does. That's all he does, and it's stupid. It's stupid. He has a goal, his own personal goal, which is to go out there and search for his father. The father that he has, uh, I think it was seven years. Yeah, I think it was seven years since the time he was left abandoned by Igneel and went to the guild. I believe so. In that time frame, and I could be wrong, whatever, in that time frame, he has made no attempt to go search for Igneel. Instead, what does he do? The fairy tale speech. 
Fairy tale, Marushi, and you're like, no, like, wh where is, like, what happened to your own personal needs? What happened to, oh my God, where's my father? That's not important. No, no, no. I guess if the guild's number one, if you're, I, that's more important than go looking for your own father. I, I, I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. I mean, if you remember during the time skip, during the time skip, he was partying for I believe it was like three weeks. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was like a three week time frame where they just party. I'm like, how can you just sit down and party when Igneo could be doing like whatever? Igneo got his head cut off in one piece. Shit, where where are you? No way, he donut donut. He has to go and search for his father. This would help his development significantly. If he was conflicted between going to missions or searching for his father, this would have been a good opportunity. Again, a good opportunity that Hero does not utilize at all. If Natsu were to have a conflict between going to missions or searching for his father. if So, for example, if Lucy wanted to go to a mission and Natsu's like, no. I need to go and search my father, you know, like, or I need to go and find clues or whereabouts about where my father could be. But he does none of that. None of that. And the fairy tale guild, the fairy tale Madoshi, is superior or takes more premise over his own search for his father. He is a character who has a goal, but makes no attempts to achieve that goal. And that is a huge flaw. I mean, that is a huge flaw. Huge, huge, huge flaw. A huge flaw. It's not even funny. That's like the biggest flaw ever. That's like going to like the moon and then crash landing like in like Cuba somewhere. Like no, like you fail. Like you completely fail. You completely fail. And this brings up a, a very good question of mine, alright? Of a good question is okay, Natsu is there, he's in the guild, he's a guild member, okay? Whenever they face someone, why is it, why the fuck is it that the guild rely on Natsu so much? Why? Why Why is Erza, Luxus, Grey, who's supposed to be Natsu's rival, which again, Hiro does not push, which again, stunts his development, uh, Lucy, why do all these characters rely on Natsu so heavily? I, I never understood that. You have S-Class mages that are supposed to be way stronger than Natsu. But yet, no, it doesn't matter. We need Natsu. We need Natsu. 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 It's like, where the... Like, seriously? What? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Even Master Makarov relies on Natsu. Like, I just, I don't get it. it. No. No. It's like the problem I have is that if if Natsu were to leave and go and search for his father, I'm afraid that Hero's gonna have a situation where Fairy Tail the Gill, like, disbanded. Oh, because Natsu wasn't there. Oh, Natsu wasn't there. Oh, oh Natsu. That's a problem. That's a problem. The guilds, uh, the guild and their reliance on Natsu hinders his goal to search for his father, which hinders his development. It's it's a failed system. It's a failed system. Natsu is most definitely a rise and fall character. Why? Because throughout the course of the entire series of Fairy Tale, Natsu had the potential to develop. He had the potential to be a very well developed character. And he stopped. He's completely stunted. He gets no freaking development. None. I don't and, and, and don't say in strength, like, oh my god, he got stronger. No, 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 no. Him getting stronger is like not even like two percent of development. No, 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 no. I'll give it. I'll, I'll be generous to say five. Okay, but 
a character situation and where they stand within the world around them and their bond or relationship with, with other characters? None. None. I mean, him and Grey? Nothing. Yeah, we're rivals, but Hero forgot about that long ago. Okay. Okay, Hero. Lisana? Donut. Um, um, uh, the, the whole entire thing with Gildarts and the fear didn't really do anything. If Natsu had said, you know what, we're gonna run away, whoa, I mean, that would've been a huge shocker. But no, he stayed there, he fought, he managed to pull out the win, which in my opinion was a solid win, but I do question him devouring other forms of magic. That to me is a huge problem. I have a huge problem with that. A Dragon Slayer is supposed to only eat his type of magic. How is he eating lightning or God Slayer flames? Like, like what the hell? Fine. God Slayer flames? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. But lightning? Really? Like, sooner or later, he's gonna wind up eating, like, he, he's, he's gonna wind up eating, like, water magic. Or, like, earth magic. And become, like, an earth, water, dragon, god, lightning slayer of fire. Like, I, like, I don't even know anymore. Like, he's, 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 he's eating everything now. It's, it's really... No. No, 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 no. We're done. Yeah, yeah, we're done, all right? We're done. This is going to be the rise and fall of Natsu. Again, look somewhere in the video, and then you'll see the rise and falls of Luffy, Naruto, Ichigo. After this is going to be the rise and fall and rise again of Sasuke Uchiha. Because Sasuke Uchiha and Naruto? Oh, man. Oh, like this guy? I mean, he falls, but Jesus, I mean, like, whoa, like, he went sky high. Um, but yeah, that being said, this is my opinion, this is my take, this is the way I see things, right? Naruto, I mean, not Naruto, Natsu, as a character, stunted, completely stunted. 70, no, 270 plus chapters, and he's still the same guy we left in chapter one. Same dude, same dude. So, that being said, King Lightning, rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys later. Take care. Have a good day.